Welcome to this SoundCool workshop. This workshop presents an adaptation of the 1010 comic, The Secret of the Unicorn. This workshop was developed by the SoundCool team to illustrate our active and collaborative methodology based on STEAM education, combining competencies in science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. We also explore various aspects of audiovisual communication. The different competencies are reflected in SoundCool as follows. Uh, for science, technology, engineering, and math, uh, STEM, uh, using the SoundCool system, connecting audio and video modules to perform audio and video processing, working with Wi-Fi and using mobile phones and tablets to control audio and video, um, also sound design for the story or play or film or novel. In the arts, we work with music, literature, drawing, set design, and others, and all of these are involved in creating and telling a multimedia story. The goal of this workshop is that once completed, participants will be able to use SoundCool in many situations. Because SoundCool encompasses an immense number of possibilities, both for students and for professionals. For this workshop, we are using the first scene of the comic uh, 1010 and the Secret of the Unicorn. And from SoundCool, we encourage you to build a multimedia production around this story, giving your imagination free reign. You can make the voices of the characters live, or you can record them. You can add sound effects. You can draw or paint backgrounds, as well as use uh, photos from digital libraries. And you can add background music or ambient sounds. Unless you have time to create everything, you will want to rely on some free content. You can find materials at various websites like Pexels, Unsplash, Freesound, YouTube, Vimeo, and others. And often, uh, material on the web is restricted, so you should take care to respect any licenses. Even free material may require you to credit the creator uh, to refrain from altering the original content or uh, to limit yourself to non-commercial use. We have an example project, which is this 1010 comic, and uh, we're using that as the basis for a story uh, the comic is in the public domain, so it's free to use the story and the images and the text. For this workshop, we will develop the first scene from the comic, including a script, music, and images. So let's look at the comic first, and rather than using every frame, uh, we've selected just some essential frames that we show here. There's a uh, introductory news story about an alarming rise in the number of robberies that have been reported in the past few weeks, pickpockets are operating, and so on. And then we see Tintin walking through the marketplace. He comes upon uh, these two gentlemen. Uh, one says, my wallet's been stolen, and the other one checks and says, mine's gone too. And they decide to go report this and this is just the opening of a, a much longer and interesting story. You can find the complete story on the web and, and develop from there. We want to tell the story with voice, image, music, sound effects, and more. And this requires the development of all of these elements. So the first step is to analyze scenes. You can divide the story into scenes and ask students to divide into pairs or groups to summarize the scenes. And then you can put it together to create a synopsis or a summary. You should choose which actions need a uh, sound or a sound effect. You should choose which ambient sound will go in the background, depending on the character and the setting and so on. And choose what music fits the scene. Uh, so one tip is try to take advantage of using the same sound in multiple locations or multiple times so you don't have too many sound files to configure and letting things get out of hand. To search for sounds, uh, we suggest uh, 
Finding Sounds with a free license, and you can find many sounds at freesound.org. If you find sounds with a Creative Commons Zero license, that allows you to use the sounds in any way without citing the author or doing anything special. Other licenses require you to credit the author, and you will find details on the website itself. Uh, SoundCool can be used to record the voices of characters and narrators, so you can make your own sounds and also your own sound effects. Uh, you can also record them at home, or you can download them, what you find from Freesound pages. After you gather materials, you should create a script that includes a plan for combining the music, images, and voice. So here we have a simple script that we've put together. We have a sound file and uh, the, the news in brief story for the first frame. And then we have Tintin walking around the market with some happy background music and some ambient sounds for the market. Then Tintin meets the brothers Hernandez and Fernandez who have had their wallets stolen and we have some sounds for them and so on. For this workshop, we will use a very basic configuration of SoundCool to play sounds and display images. SoundCool is very flexible and has many other possibilities, but we will keep it simple for now. This project uses both visual and audio parts of SoundCool, so participants can record appropriate sound effects, uh, the narrator and character's voices using the record module. Alternatively, sounds can be downloaded from uh, sound effect and music libraries. The audio tracks will then be loaded into sample players, and sounds will be triggered by the participants with their tablets or mobile phones at the appropriate time. Specifically, here's an example where we have a, a player for music at the top. It's uh, module P1. And uh, below that, we have S1 for the rest of the sounds and ambient music, and we have S2, a sample player, for effects. All of these are connected to the mixer, so we see P1, S1, S2 as inputs. The mixer combines the outputs from these players into one signal, which is connected to speakers. And if you want to record the output, you can also connect the mixer to this uh, record module. You can also create melodies with a keyboard module, and you can add music synthesizers with the VST module. You can also apply live effects such as pan, delay, uh, uh, pitch change using these modules called pan, delay, and transposer. We can also use SoundCool for visuals. Uh, computer output can be recorded to make a video, or the computer output can be projected to, to create an on-stage uh, live production. SoundCool visual modules for this workshop consist of an image sampler that can select backgrounds. That's this one. It's connected to a screen V module over here, which sends the backgrounds to the computer display. And notice that uh, by pressing different keys, we can produce different images. These keys can be uh, pressed remotely over Wi-Fi using a tablet so that one student can control visuals while other students are controlling sound. If students want to use uh, puppets instead of uh, acting, then we can use the blending V module, that's uh, this, this one, to combine backgrounds with camera input. So the way this works is you draw the background images and uh, photograph them, and you can view those photos with the image sampler V module, as we saw before. Then make uh, puppets or draw, uh, cut out drawings of characters that can, can be moved around. And with a webcam, take pictures of those puppets in front of a black panel. The webcam then appears through this direct input V module. And then we can mix the foreground puppets with a still background using the uh, uh, blending V module. So you see 
image sampler V in, in at the top here and D1 direct V input uh, as the second one. Different mixing options are available and you should try to find the most suitable one and the output is then connected to screen V so that you can output the, the video to your computer. This is what this might look like put together. So you see a, a background drawing that's been photographed and played by image sampler and you see uh, puppet characters uh, moving live as video input in the foreground. To perform the work you will need a detailed script or a timeline and you might want to draw and label a, an actual number line or timeline that children learn about in mathematics and it's related of course to music notation but also to plotting scientific data and eventually uh, graphs are closely connected and good preparation for calculus. The script that you make should contain the minute and second of the scene of every action. It should have uh, buttons to be pressed by students to, to initiate sounds and to change images and so on. And sound and images uh, should be labeled or described so that we know what's happening. And in case of a music performance or improvisation, you can indicate the style. So for example, melody with Phrygian scale from 1 minute 23 to 3 minutes and 5 seconds. All right, so let's, uh, let's rehearse. First of all, we're going to configure SoundCool. So let's briefly pull up uh, SoundCool and let's create a sample player module here and a mixer and speakers. Okay. Uh, now we want to connect the sample player to the mixer so we click the output button and the corresponding input button and now the player is connected to the mixer. We'll similarly we'll connect the mixer to the speakers and we need a sound to play, so let's pull up. Oh, I don't know. Let's let's get some the news report music, and we'll open it. All right. So now, well, and let's get another one. Uh, we'll put 1010 in the marketplace. Okay, and I believe we should turn the mixer down, and let's play some music. Okay, and, and we have another piece of music we can play here. So we can control the, the master volume here. We can also control each, each player volume here. And, and uh, we're going to want to have more sample players for more sound, so we can just uh, uh, bring them up and hook them into the, the system quite easily. I will skip over the visual patching because it's it's similar and we're just going to close everything and load a configuration that uh, I've prepared with everything ready to go. So now everything is loaded and um, the next thing we want to do is get ready to use our phones and tablets. So we will go here to the visual launcher and, and get the IP address right here. And I'm going to uh, open up. I hope this is visible. Uh, here we can, we can type in the IP address. And we also need to put in a, a port number. Um, I've put in 9000 because I'm going to control the, the image. And you'll see that uh, 9000 is also uh, typed in here. Next, I need to uh, connect using the connect button. And the connect button turns green, which means I'm connected. So now, if I go to the, uh, to the keyboard and I uh, push the key, then you see that the uh, slide corresponding uh, image comes up on the screen and I can select other images and, and cycle through them. So uh, that's great. That gives me 
control there. And similarly, I can use the, the sampler screen and a different port number on a different phone to uh, control uh, the sample player. And same thing with, with all of these other modules. So we're going to try to give you a sense of what this could be like. And I've purposefully left out the narration so that I can and can talk and, and kind of run through uh, a, a simple little performance here. I'm trying to do everything at once, so it's not going to be terribly coordinated. And I, this is one of the wonderful things about SoundCool is that it's a real collaborative environment that uh, it takes a, a number of people working together to make a really uh, good production and an interesting one. We'll do the best we can. So in, at the beginning, uh, let's see, we're going to start with some music. And I will bring up the news in brief. We can control the volume a little and say, an alarming rise in the number of robberies has been reported in the past few weeks. Daring pickpockets are operating in the larger stores. And then maybe we can move on. 1010 is moving through the market. So we've got some market, let's roll some market strolling music. And we need a marketplace. So let's turn on some market sounds. And then, let's see, we come to, uh, uh, oh, no. my wallet's been stolen. And uh, mine's gone too. Oh, no. Uh, goodbye, we're going to report this straight away. Maybe we can end with a little suspense music here. Who knows what's going to happen next. Okay, so that's the idea. After you manage to get through uh, one rehearsal of the piece, uh, the next thing to do with a group is to review and, and improve the piece. Uh, we develop and refine the work with uh, this technique of substitute, combine, adapt, modify, delete, and reform. What sounds do not match the image? And why doesn't the background music work? And where would this sound work better? These are the kinds of questions and discussion that can lead to improvements and critical thinking and design skills. So thank you for joining us in this webinar, and we hope we have given you many creative ideas for using SoundCool and exploring arts and science education through collaborative projects such as this multimedia creation around the comic character 1010.